Sudanese have expressed their wrath over the increasing hike in the prices of bread following protests across the country on Sunday in which one student died. Bread prices doubled following the government's announcement late last month that it was eliminating subsidies in the 2018 budget. People who buy bread daily at 10 Sudanese pounds have to buy it for 20 or 30. There are some who cannot buy bread now. They can increase anything, but with bread, there should be red line. It's unacceptable to increase the price of bread by more than 200%. And also reducing the weight of a loaf of bread. Families cannot afford this. The removal of subsidies is part of austerity measures as Sudan struggles with inflation, running at about 25% and an acute shortage of hard currency. Economic analyst Sahuri Isai thinks other options must be adopted to save the economy. The urgent solution is to attract serious investors to utilize the potential of Sudan, particularly oil and minerals. Because of its rapid output, it can help boost revenue and return the balance of our national currency. Austerity measures in Sudan have sparked sporadic public protests in the past few years. Amnesty International says up to 185 people may have been killed in 2013 when thousands took to the street to demonstrate against four price increases.